What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. So yesterday the New England Patriots ended up trading for Miami's Devontae Parker, which is giving me an excuse today to go ahead and do a Devontae Parker New England Patriots rebuild. So we haven't done a Patriots rebuild in quite some time. So if you guys could go ahead and leave a like this video and of course subscribe if you're new would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, this gives me an excuse to do a Patriots rebuild because like I said, they haven't done a much, you know, haven't done much in free agency uh, because they spent a lot of their money last year. So here we are doing it today. And of course, like I said, they did trade for Devontae Parker was a third round draft pick. They got a fifth in return and Devontae Parker. So uh, Parker becomes Mac Jones, maybe new number one, I guess you could uh, argue. So uh, that's nice for uh, Mac Jones to get another weapon for him. And uh, the Patriots did also trade Shaq Mason to the Bucks, I believe, as well in this offseason. Uh, but of course, like usual, we start the negotiation stage. So let's go ahead and jump right into this negotiation stage as we have Devin McCourty, Jabril Peppers, who they also signed, forgot to mention that as well. Jacoby Myers, they have James White still. So actually, I do want to keep, um, well, McCourty at 35 years old, if he doesn't cost too much, we'll probably keep him around. He's a superstar X Factor. So I do want to keep Jabril Peppers, though, at 26. I think that's uh, somebody I would love to keep around for the Patriots. And I believe he only signed a one-year deal with the Patriots. I could be wrong. Maybe it was more than that. Uh, but we got Jabril Peppers back. I also want to keep Jacoby Myers, and I believe the Patriots have already given uh, Nikhil Harry permission to seek a trade or he's going to be released or something like that. So that'll be something we go ahead and take care of today as well. And James White is the third down back. I'll offer it to him. And, uh, you know, if he doesn't come back, it's not a big deal. So uh, Devin McCourty, though, like I said, if he doesn't cost too much, $7 million for one year is not too bad. And I'm willing to offer that if he wants to come for that. Uh, I can round it up to like you know, almost $8 million. And he's back. So Devin McCourty is going to be our free safety for the year. We'll have to replace him in the long run. But him for one year uh, more will be nice. And of course, we have Griffin Murphy as the head coach. And no Bill Belichick in Madden, which uh, is interesting. I don't think Bill Belichick has ever signed the rights over to Madden to put him in the game. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at the team as it sits right now. So after great and see the offensive line is awesome, which is uh, great because we don't even have to worry about offensive line problems. Yeah, Hunter Henry and John New Smith, who they both signed in the last offseason uh, for their two uh, tight end sets and stuff like that. So it is Devontae Parker. It is Nelson Aguilar. And then you got Jacoby Myers, Kendrick Bourne, and then Nikhil Harry. So like I said, we probably will end up trading Nikhil Harry because I believe the Patriots went ahead and uh, gave him permission to seek a trade or something like that. We have Damian Harris, Mac Jones, and Stidham sitting right behind him. And then defensively, you got Devin McCourty again. And then uh, we, I guess we have Duggar. So technically... You know, it's fine. Depth, will, you know, is always great. Jerome Peppers is a strong safety. So we have Kyle Duggar. I kind of forgot about him. Of course, they did lose JC Jackson, which is uh, definitely a huge loss, but uh, they didn't seem too frightened by it. Then we have Daniel Wise or Dietrich Wise, who's 28. And then uh, right now, Dante Hightower is a free agent. Of course, Matthew Judon and uh, Luke here. And then uh, Jones and then Butler. So is that Malcolm Butler? That is Malcolm Butler, who I forgot they actually signed, if you guys remember Malcolm Butler. I'm sure all of us remember Malcolm Butler from that Super Bowl on the goal line but i do want to go ahead and uh make a few acquisitions here so i think we could use another middle linebacker and another corner we also have lawrence guy who's 32 so we definitely need to start getting younger on the defensive line i know christian barrymore is quite young and then we have god chalks as well if i said that name correctly probably bear, uh, botched it but barrymore is young uh but other than barrymore on that d line is getting kind of old and i don't know how old yuke is oh he's 23 so that's another young player we have for in our arsenal so all right Let's go to uh, free agency, though. Another guard wouldn't hurt either, but we could address that in the draft, I'm sure. So $24 million in cash space. We traded our third round pick to get Devontae Parker. So I'll have to give the Dolphins that third and we get a fifth in return. We don't need a center. We don't need wide receivers whatsoever. Dante Hightower, I don't believe, has signed back with the Patriots, but obviously he is the New England, uh, former New England Patriot. Uh, Cole Beasley, Will Lutz. But again, uh, Turner, though, as a guard replacement, as a cheap guard replacement, might actually be the move. You also have Jayon Brown, who signed with the pay, uh, not signed with the Patriots, the Raiders, I should say. I am going to go ahead and offer on Turner though, and get him to become a guard for the Patriots. Uh, so if we can get him, that'd be really nice as a new replacement. So um, just to just have that plugged in. I don't have to address in the draft either. So we'll offer Turner here. We don't have a ton of money, so I can't go too crazy with it. Jayon Brown, and so that'll replace our guard. And as far as corners, I don't think we'll find anything too much out here. And then again, middle linebacker, I guess, was the only other thing that I kind of wanted to address. You have Joe Schobert, who I believe, did the Steelers cut him? If I, or some team cut him, I believe. Jamie Collins, who's a former Patriot as well. But I kind of like the idea of getting Joe Schobert for a year. I wouldn't mind that. So we'll go ahead and offer on him. He's actually kind of cheap. So 
I give him a three year deal, and that might be the only three or the only two trades I make, and then or two signings I make. And again, I think I'm gonna go ahead and trade Nikhil Harry for like a third, for like a I don't know about a third, but maybe like a fifth or sixth, something like that. So we get uh well let's go ahead and trade Nikhil Harry first before we submit to next week. So or we can cut him again. Like I said, that's something the Patriots are experimenting with right now, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that because, again, he's not going to be on the team going forward, it seems like. So, Nikhil Harry, I'm sorry, but I think it's time to let you go, my friend. But first, to take care of that trade, like I said, the Patriots ended up trading a third to get Devontae Parker. So I'm just going to make that exchange there real quick. And now we can kind of look on uh, what we can get from Nikhil Harry as Baker Mayfield's on the trade block, of course. But uh let's go ahead and throw Nikhil Harry in the trade so I don't expect to get much for him but you know I wouldn't mind picking up like a fourth if I could if somebody would be willing to do that I don't know if anybody would but uh Cleveland I mean it really doesn't matter who we trade him to technically he's cheap and some team could just take a chance on him so maybe a team like the Lions who are rebuilding you know might you know wouldn't mind you know shipping out like a you know a fifth or for him or something so I wouldn't mind getting like a fifth round draft pick for Nikhil Harry they don't actually accept that so we're not going to be able to get a fifth what about a sixth round pick just something for Nikhil Harry and they agree so we get a sixth round pick for Nikhil Harry send him off to the Detroit again the Patriots are looking to cut him I believe so um instead of cutting him we get a draft pick for him so that's good on our part uh I didn't mean to click combine results I could care less about that of course and then we already kind of know who all these guys are for the most part let's go ahead and submit to next week and see if we get Schobert and we see you get Turner and then those will be our two signings in free agency just uh kind of good you know depth signings and then uh, in the draft, we could probably go for, like, corner. I mean, there's a lot of things we could go. Obviously, we still need to get the uh, D-line a little bit younger. Don't believe what, I don't know what our draft pick is going to be for sure. But offensive line is uh, definitely complete now with Turner joining the mix, which I love. And honestly, the offense, in the you know, for the most part, is actually done. I really like how the offense looks. Uh, another wide receiver wouldn't hurt. And uh, I think eventually we can cut Nelson Aguilar. So probably will end up doing that. We got Bentley now and Schobert. And then again, I want to get younger in the defensive line. I also want to get uh, a new corner, I think. So let's go ahead and jump into the draft. And uh, those are the three things we're going to try to accomplish in the draft. So going into the NFL draft, we are listed at number 18 overall in this simulation. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we can get at number 18. So again, like I said, I would like to walk away with some uh, D-line and another corner. So we got... Tyrell Linderbaum, which we don't need offensive line whatsoever, so I'm not going to worry about the offensive line. Ahmad Garner is here, and I feel like that's just too good to pass up, and I think that is what I'm going to do. So uh, Garner being here is the corner I'm definitely going to take with this 18th overall pick. You're going to be a brand new New England Patriot. Welcome to the team. That kind of re you know replaces the void we had with uh, JC Jackson leaving, so we love that addition to the team. Ahmad Garner falling to us at number 18 overall and then i think this pick has to be a end so if it's sanders or anything we, we need to get somebody on the d-line just a little bit younger because our d-line is not going to last forever so tyreek smith boba bolden you got adam anderson Dion kendrick justin ross spiller but i'm looking so dj dale we really don't need a defensive tackle necessarily kind of looking for an end we have tyreek smith we have drake london which also would be awesome but again i don't really want a wide receiver uh, Xavier Thomas it looks like Sanders might have went off the board already which would have been my ideal selection here but he is not here which is quite unfortunate so I guess we could technically move one of those D linemen to like the end if we wanted to but um, yeah it's not really looking good so I think I'm going to come up here and uh, we'll kind of look at somebody maybe we've never even drafted before it's got Merlin Robinson got Hasco Garrett like I mentioned Daxon Hill which it could technically get a new free safety because again we are about to lose a free safety but then again we could move Duggar to free safety so we don't really necessarily need to do that Adam Anderson who we scouted quite a bit I guess we could throw him on the D-line if we wanted to he's a speed rusher he is hidden development so maybe we could just take him with the second round pick and throw him at the left end or the right end which might be something I do so you know what we're gonna go ahead and take Adam Anderson here would have loved to have seen like uh uh you know Sanders here at this selection but it's all right so we're gonna get Adam Anderson and throw him on the D-line as depth and then let's go ahead and get to our 18th overall pick and uh let's see if we can get uh, i guess in the fourth round i should say unless we can get like another young edge rusher maybe i don't know if we will but we'll see so jumping into this we got merlin robinson nolan smith jalen green ventro miller tight end overshone Peyton wilson so yeah not looking too good you wanya morris romeo ben brown so jalen tolber who i believe is actually in development coming out of the draft and zay flowers so we could easily walk away with another like in development wide receiver but i don't really need wide receivers 
You know what? Technically, we do because we might cut Nelson Aguilar and then... Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't mind drafting a wide receiver here like Zay Flowers out of Boston College as another guy to join the mix. We'll take Zay Flowers with this pick. He's a normal development, but he could develop for this team. So we're going to be happy with that. And I think I'm going to walk away out of this draft very happy. So, uh, you know what? I think we accomplished for the most part what we wanted to accomplish. But of course, there's still more work to do in this video. And uh, this would be like maybe Aguilar's replacement. I thought Zay Fla Flowers going to be hidden development, but no big deal. You no, know, we'll see what happens with them. So looking at the offense, I actually love how it looks. You know, wide receiver core could be a little bit better, but with Devontae Parker being the number one, we'll kind of see how that goes. Uh, Jacoby Myers, I kind of want to put him over Kendrick Bourne, but I mean, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Aguilar is the wide receiver number two, I guess. And then looking at the team, uh, the offense, I love how it looks. Defensively, this is what the defense looks like. So Adam Anderson is kind of buried in the depth chart for now, but I do want him to maybe eventually get some runs. So I'm going to put him behind Guy. I want to put Amar Garner as our cornerback number two, though, for sure, because I want him to develop this year. So he's going to be our cornerback number two. And it'll be Duggar. And then, of course, Jabril Peppers, which uh, Duggar might move him to free safety after this all said and done. And then Peppers could play strong safety. We'll see how that goes. But we're going to go ahead and simulate this season and we're going to see how things go. And uh, we're going to hope for the best. So uh, let's simulate this season and uh, let's see if we go ahead and make the playoffs or not with Mac Jones still at quarterback. So at the end of the season, we went 10 and 7 and ended up making the playoffs, which is awesome. We do get rewarded with playing the Baltimore Ravens, though. So we'll have to see if our defense is up for the task. Uh, which we, we we will hope they will. We, we will hope they are, obviously. But 10-7 and seven on the season. We have a lot of things to look at. Press conference, playoffs, one last hurrah. Uh, so we have a veteran who might be looking to retire. We'll have to look into that. But let's go ahead and take a look at the stats for the year and kind of see how things went. So offense, 23rd in the NFL. I'm going to assume the defense was quite good, hopefully. And that is the case. They were 6th in the NFL. So offense, Mac Jones, solid year. 33 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 4,000 yards on the season. Rushing-wise, Damian Harris with 1,200 yards and 8 touchdowns on the ground. Receiving-wise, Devontae Parker, 900 yards, 800 from Kendrick Bourne, 800 from Hunter Henry, and 700 from Nelson Aguilar. Jacoby Myers barely got any run, which I feel kind of bad about because we just re-signed him and we're not using him, so that's kind of dumb. But Matthew J Judon with 12 and a half sacks, then Uke with 5, and then Barrymore with 4, then 3.5 from Jero Peppers, 2.5 from Dietrich Wise, 2.5 from Davon. And then interceptions-wise... We got three from Jerome Peppers, three from Kyle Duggar, and then three from Jonathan Jones, one from Schobert, and one from Bentley. So let's go ahead and jump into this playoff game, though, going up against the Baltimore Ravens, and uh, let's see how we match up. We get the home game as well, so we'll see what happens. So the end pending retirement coming is Devin McCourty, which I probably should have known that because obviously he is uh, on a one-year deal and he is 35 years old. But hey, here we go, man. Playing the Baltimore Ravens, it's all out in front of us. We can come out here and win this game, and we could literally go to the division round next week if we win. But we have the home team, you know, have the home field advantage. Let's just see how Mac Jones does in his second playoff game of his career. He obviously played Buffalo, and they uh, lost pretty badly. But Buffalo is an elite team. And we start out with a 7-0 lead, and uh, the Ravens are going to tie it up, though. But that was a really nice quick score that we had at first. 10-7, get a stop. And now we get an interception, and now we're up 17-7 on the Baltimore Ravens. But the Ravens... Do, uh, you know, streak the lead by three, and that is 14 to 20. The Ravens take the lead going into half, and they are going to go up 28 to 20. So not looking good unless Mac Jones could tie it up, which he has time to do so. Not going to do it, though. The Ravens are up 11 points, and now they are up 14. So that might be all, uh, you know, all over. 34 to 26. Mac Jones, second playoff game of his career. We lose, uh, but there's still more work to be done. Uh, we could still make this team better, so I'm not too upset. Obviously, first season of the rebuild, getting the playoffs is great. Uh, but obviously, a little bit more work to do. Uh, but we'll, we'll get right to that. Going into this offseason at an 84 overall, have about $88 million in cap space. We have the money to resign players, and we're going to have the ability to get better as well. So let's go ahead and see how many free agents we have. So you have Trent Brown, McCorder, who we're probably not going to be bringing back this year, Isaiah Wynn, Jonathan Jones, Jake Bailey, Jawan Bentley, a lot of good free agents we need to worry about. So um you know after that it actually doesn't get too bad so i'm gonna go to keep jared stidham as our backup quarterback though uh, so i'm gonna offer him a contract he does decide to stay around so we'll just make sure he is resigned and then i do want to go ahead and resign trent brown i think as a tackle so we'll keep trent brown around uh for three years and we'll sign him up hopefully he is back so trent brown is back in 89 overall mccordy we are going to move on from damian harris actually had a really solid year and he's not going to cost too much so i'm going to go ahead and offer on him as well so harris is back Isaiah Wynn, our other tackle, I'm going to keep him as well. So we're going to be paying our offensive line this offseason, which is fine by me. Uh, keep Mac Jones protected. And then Jonathan Jones at 29 years old. 
We might wait on that one. We'll see. Uh, Juwan Bentley at 27. I'm going to keep him around as well. I want to keep the defense intact for the most part. Obviously, losing Devin McCourty, which we could resign him. Aguilar, we're not going to resign, though. Nick Folk, I'm going to resign. And then we have Christian Barrymore at D tackle. So there's really no reason to get uh, Davon. All right, never mind. I guess we're not getting our kicker back, which I guess is fine. Jake Bailey, I would like to have you back, though, as well. Let's see if we get Jake Bailey. But if Denzel Ward is in free agency, I'd like to offer on him. Instead of Jonathan Jones, that's why we're kind of waiting. Uh, and then McCordy again, I'm probably not going to bring back. So we might be able to move Kyle Duggar to free safety and then have Peppers play, you know, strong safety, like I said. So um, looking at the roster now, we did lose a little bit on the defense. Obviously, we kind of lost some depth, lost McCordy. Uh, but we can look at the defense now. And offensively, again, um, a wide receiver, you know, it's still kind of needed, I guess. I like Kendrick Bourne. I like Devontae Parker. And Devontae Parker could technically be a number one over or number one wide receiver for this team. And I do like that idea. I guess Jacoby Myers could be the number two and Kendrick Bourne as the number three, which I think is not a terrible one. But obviously, you know, a 90 overall wide receiver would look better than just an 82, 81, and a 78. But we'll see how that goes. Defensively, uh, Adam Anderson went to a 73 overall, so he is getting better. We do need another corner outside of Gart. We actually, we actually need two other corners. So our, our linebacker core is intact, though. And they're going to have Jabril Preppers play free safety i guess which i guess is fine we can leave that the way it is and then uh lawrence guy adam anderson so we can move adam anderson i might cut lawrence guy i don't know how much we would save if we did that let's see about yeah i forget about two million dollars so there's really no reason to cut him probably just keep him on the uh as depth and then uh i think that's it so basically we need a corner which again if denzel ward is out here that's gonna be my number one priority and then another wide receiver wouldn't hurt either then of course, just other, you know, good free agents to make this team better. So let's see what we got in free agency. Uh, Jeffrey Simmons. Ooh. And Denzel Ward is out here, which is like I said, what I wanted. So you got Marquise Brown as well. Miko Hardman. So we could walk away pretty nicely out of this free agency, I think. And I think we could definitely do that. So I kind of want to offer an all three the best free agents. Low key. So I want Simmons. I really want Jeffrey Simmons, to be honest with you. And I think I'm going to try to go for him. Now, I know he's tough to get because the teams that do offer him, like the Jacksonville Jaguars, I'm sure offered him a bag. But getting Jeffrey Simmons on that D-line just sounds like so much fun. Denzel Ward sounds like so much fun. And then walking away with either Marquise Brown or Miko Hardman sounds like so much fun as well. So that is what I'm willing to do. So I want to first offer, actually, first and foremost, I want to offer on Denzel Ward. This is who I want the most, who I realistically want the most, because obviously we let JC Jackson walk. So if we can get Denzel Ward to replace him, I'd be very happy with that. So Denzel Ward, we have a good offer on him. So I'm comfortable with that offer. Superstar Dev, man-to-man -man corner, would love that. Jeffrey Simmons, the other guy I would love to have. But again, this might get tough because I know the Jaguars, I know the teams that usually offer on Jeffrey Simmons pay him a lot of money. 107 total points. And again, we're not even close. See the ja or No, never mind. Where's number one offer? What are I talking about? So never mind. Jeffrey Simmons, Denzel Ward, we have offers on. I would love to walk away with either Marquise Brown or Miko Hardman as well, to be honest with you. And Miko Hardman's not, well, I guess I got to find out. So Miko Hardman is my ideal. But if we get Simmons and Denzel Ward out of this free agency, bro, I would feel so ecstatic about that. So we're going to have to make cuts uh, to go ahead and try to get more. I'm willing to do that, though. Let's go to salaries and see if there's anybody. You have Hunter Henry. You have Kendrick Bourne, who actually immediately is becoming cap casualty number one. $9 million. I'm going to try to resign Miko. I'm going to try to sign Miko Hardman, I think. Uh, Devontae Parker, I'm going to keep because he's the title of the video. Offensive line, I don't want to mess with. Wise, I mean, it would only save about $3 million. So I think that should have given me enough money to offer a little bit more on Simmons or Ward if I need to. And it also is going to give me the ability to offer on Miko Hardman or Marquise Brown. And Marquise Brown has no offers right now. And then Miko Hardman has like terrible offers. So both of them are deep threats. I'm going to go for Marquise Brown, though, and I think I can lowball him, and he might accept it. So we're going to try this. 47 total points. No offers yet. We can come back to that. Simmons and Ward, though. Please, bro. Please sign that contract. We can get uh, Jeffrey Simmons and Denzel Ward. I will be so ecstatic about this free agency, and I can just... I don't even know. I'd be so happy. Let's see if we get both of them. Hopefully, they both accept. Prayers up. Yes, they all three accepted. We got Marquise Brown, Jeffrey Simmons, and Denzel Ward in this free agency. And that is just a huge free agency. Marquise Brown. And we kept our depth other than Kendrick Bourne, which is fine because obviously we have Jacoby Myers. So now Kendrick Bourne is gone. Aguilar is gone. And now we have Marquise Brown here in New England for another weapon. 
for Mac Jones, which is awesome. And then uh, Jacoby Myers as well. Zay Flowers could have stepped up, but won't need to yet. And defensively, we got Denzel freaking Ward opposite of Gardner. And we also got Jeffrey Simmons opposite of Anderson with Matthew Judon as well. Joe Sharp. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. I love the defense. And we still have the freaking draft, bro. So let's jump into this NFL draft to try to make this team even better. Obviously, no more money left. So happy with that free agency. Let's get into the draft and see if we can make this offseason even better. The 20th overall pick here in the first round. Let's go ahead and see what we can get at pick number 20 in this draft. Again, we're literally just walking away with depth pieces at this point. We'd love to walk away with hidden development players as well. Uh, could use another corner. So that might be something we look for uh, as a, like a slot corner. But I'm looking at BJ Jolari or Demon Clowney, who are both scheme fits as my first pick in this draft. Marvin Mims as well. Tony Grimes. Like, again, we just kind of could use a corner. And we could use, uh, you know what? I think we need a corner more than anything, though. Just opposite of Denzel or just a slot corner. So I'm looking at Tony Grimes here with this pick. A catching B, he looks great. I'm taking him. So just like that, we get Tony Grimes as another young corner to join this Patriots defense, which is just fantastic. He can be our slot corner because I think we needed a third corner anyway. So round two, pick number 20. We can go ahead and see if one of those linebackers falls here. And we have Chris Bogle on the board, who could be a pick here. Jalen Carter, uh, Pierre Quick, Jordan Birch, Grant uh, and Miles Murphy, Manuel Forbes, uh, Alfred Collins. So a lot of good selections here. It looks like we did scout Chris Bogle a little bit. So I'll go ahead and take him here for the Patriots. We put a lot of scouting into him. So Chris Bogle, welcome to the Patriots. We walked away with what we needed the most in a cornerback. So uh, after this third round pick, I can walk away out of this draft really happy. Again, this free agency was awesome. This offseason was awesome. So we should be built for another good run. Jaclyn uh, Roy, though, at D-tackle uh, D depth. Gonna go ahead and take him, and I'm walking away with this draft very happy, and walking away out of this offseason ultimately very, very happy. The offense really hasn't changed much, other than obviously getting Marquise Brown, and then I guess we lost a couple wide receivers, and Damian Harris and Ramondre Stevenson, and the offensive line is still intact, which is all star development. It's beautiful, and Hunter Henry and Johnny Smith at the tight end positions. And defensively, this is where we got really, really nice. We got Tony Grimes as the slot corner, Ahmad Garner, Jeffrey Simmons, Christian Barrymore. And then obviously Daniel or Dietrich Wise. I keep wanting to call him Daniel Wise, but I think Daniel Wise is a different football player. And Joe Schobert, Uke, Bentley, and Matthew Judon. We can go ahead and be very happy with this team. Should be another good season, hopefully. It is Madden, though, so you really never know what to expect. Let's go ahead and submit this season and see if we can be another playoff team, but maybe this time a little bit stronger of a playoff team. So at the end of the season, we once again won our division, and the Buffalo Bills really haven't been a competition in this division, which is really stupid in my opinion. Madden is weird with that. The Bills are a good team. Why are they going 5-12 and 12 in the simulation? But regardless, 11-6, and six, that's not our problem today. We get to play the Pittsburgh Steelers in round one, and we can go ahead and take a look at the stats real quick before we jump into the game like usual. So we beat the Raiders 42-28 to 28 in week 18. Looking at the stats, though, for the team, offense was 19 in the NFL, so it was better than last year. The defense stay in the top 10? Yes, this time it was first in the NFL with Denzel Ward and Jeffrey Simmons coming over. Again, Mac Jones, really another solid year. 4,000 yards, 33 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Rushing-wise, Damian Harris, 1,100 yards, 15 touchdowns, and then 10 from Andre Stevenson. Receiving-wise, Devontae Parker, 1,100 yards, 6 touchdowns, Hunter Henry with 8 Marquise Brown with four, then Jacoby Myers with uh, 700. So Myers finally got utilized. That's why I felt really bad in the first season. He wasn't. And defensively, I want to see how Jeffrey Simmons and Judon did together. So Simmons, nine and a half sacks. Judon with seven. Would have loved to see that like 20, 20 sacks. That'd been awesome. Dietrich Wise with six and a half, three from Bentley, uh, one and a half from Schobert, one from Duggar, and one from Garner, and one from Barrymore. Interceptions, though, four from Duggar, three from Denzel Ward, two from Garner, and then uh, two from Jarrell Peppers. One from Judon, uh, which is awesome. And then touchdowns. Do we have any touch? Yes, we did. Kyle Duggar got himself a defensive touchdown, which I assume was probably on a pick six because uh, he had no fumble recoveries. All right, man. Let's go ahead and jump into this playoff game. We get to play the Pittsburgh Steelers, like I said. I mean, we are built for this uh, team to be on a deep run here, I believe. So uh, beating the Steelers would be a good first step to that. We're an 88 overall. The team's not going to get much better than this. Let's hope for the best here. So I'm not sure who the Steelers are starting at quarterback, obviously. So I kind of want to find out low key, which we probably will. Am I able to yet? Hold on. I got to jump in and see. Okay. So they scored right away, I believe, which is mind boggling. They're up 14 to zero already. So not a good start to this game. Now they're up three possessions. Okay. Mac Jones, what are we doing here, boy? And okay. We are just going to get absolutely... Who was starting at quarterback for the Steelers for them to be doing this to us? It's 27 to 3. 
I, I bet it's like Tom Brady, right? Or something stupid. Like we literally are just uh, put on field goals. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, another season of just absolute waste, I guess. 20. Yeah. We're going to lose this game 30 to 14. And what an absolute terrible performance by Mac Jones. Just absolutely dreadful. Who was starting at quarterback for the Steelers? It was Carson Strong. Mac Jones, absolute joke. One interception was not good enough whatsoever. And we lost this game bad. We allowed Damien Harris, or not Damien, or no, yeah, Najee Harris to get 152 yards. It was supposed to be the other Harris doing that. What a joke. What a joke. We got we got another offseason, though. Let's try to make this team even better, I guess. So only $33 million going into this offseason. So I'm a little nervous about being able to keep everybody. And I'm not even going to worry about the draft this offseason. I really like how we built the team already. I thought we could have made it a, like, good run there. But, of course, we just get obliterated by the Steelers, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, hopefully not too many free agents to worry about. Like I said, I want to keep everybody low-key. So Duggar, Henry... Yeah, we have, okay, there's, okay, it's not too bad. It could have been worse. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with everybody. So Kyle Duggar, not a ton of money. So hopefully we can afford everybody back. So Duggar is back, which I love that. We'll come back to Hunter Henry because technically we have Jonu Smith. I do want to keep Mike as well, which he's going to cost about $10 million and cheapen it up by offering a four-year deal though. So we'll get Mike back. Devontae Parker is literally the title of the video. I do want Josh Uke as well. He's going to be relatively cheap. So hopefully this gives me enough money to get Devontae Parker. And then we might have to just let Hunter Henry walk, which I wouldn't like to do, but we have Jonu Smith at tight end. And I just want to keep the team intact. So Devontae Parker, uh, actually, you know, we might be able to get Hunter Henry back. We'll see. So we're going to offer, no, uh, we got to keep you, my friend. I, oh my God, $23 million though, bro. We should be able to get him pretty easily in free agency, I would imagine, because he's led the title video. So instead of uh, Devontae Parker, we're offering Hunter Henry instead. And he's going to test out free agency, of course, and franchise tag him about $17 million. So, yeah. Um, let's see if we free up any money team salaries wise and uh, see if we're going to be able to. So, losing Hunter Henry, Devontae Parker are. are so, we're, the defense is going to stay intact. John New Smith, we could save about $12 million. So, would I rather have. It's a penalty, though. Or, no, it's a cap hit. Never mind. So, would I rather have Hunter Henry or would I rather have John New Smith? I mean, that's a pretty easy answer for me. Hunter Henry is literally uh better overall wise i think i'm sorry we're gonna have to cut john U. smith and judon i'm not gonna cut which he actually he went down in overall like crazy so we can free about 10 million dollars by cutting him we cut matthew judon i wouldn't like to do it but i think we might have to he's a he's a he's an eight i'm gonna cut matthew judon which is, sounds crazy but he went down in overall like crazy so i don't think there's anyone else though i think mean, those are the only two cuts so we need parker back we also need Hunter Henry back because we lost our tight end and we lost Judon as well. So we need another uh, pass rushing linebacker, which we might be able to find in this free agency class, hopefully. So uh, free agency, about $30 million after everything is all said and done. So Clil Mack could be that guy, but he's a little older than my, uh, for my liking, I guess I should say. So we could probably trade for one maybe since we're not going to worry about the draft. Uh, but I do want to go ahead. Like I said, I want to get Parker back. Um, which he has no offers right now. So like I said, he should be relatively cheap to bring back. So we'll offer on Devontae Parker. So he should be back, which is awesome. And then tight end position, we're going to go get Hunter Henry, which he has offers, but I would love for him to stick around. So Hunter Henry, we'll offer on. So Hunter Henry should be back, 107 total points. I'll offer even more just to be safe. Um, 10 million per year, something like that. So let's see if we get him. And that should be Hunter Henry coming back to the Patriots. And like I said, since we did just lose um, uh, Matthew Judon, I think I'm going to use my first round pick and I'm going to trade for a pass rushing stud linebacker because uh, I just want to have one. So I'm going to try to get Rashawn Gary from the Green Bay Packers to replace Matthew Judon. So let's go ahead and see if you'd accept this. No, they do not. I'll offer a third as well. So let's offer that. And they still don't accept. And I feel like I might have to throw in another first here. Maybe another second next year. Would uh, They don't agree to that. It's okay. Maybe it would cost two first in order to get Rashawn Gary, who is 26 years old. Am I willing to do that? Yes, because I want to go ahead and make a deep run. So Rashawn Gary for two picks. They don't agree. Also throw in a sixth round pick this year. And we're going to get Rashawn Gary to be the new replacement for Matthew Judon. To be that new pass rushing linebacker, which I absolutely freaking love. So just like that, get Rashawn Gary. And then we should have Devontae Parker and Hunter Henry coming back to us. So that is a job well done, in my opinion. So just like that. Replaced Judon, traded our two picks in order to do it. But like I said, 
I think I'm ready to win now, which is why I went ahead and made that trade. So I'm not even going to worry about the draft after trading my first round pick. I'm just going to jump right into this next season. So Hunter Henry and uh, Devontae Parker are back, which is a W. So we got them back. And defensively, we got Rashawn Gary now uh, instead of uh, Matthew Judon. So we'll go ahead and see how that goes. But uh, Grimes up to the same nine overall. And then Garner's up to an 80 overall. So the team has gotten better. Dietrich Wise. Adam Anderson really hasn't developed too much, which is fine. So Dietrich Wise, I guess, can be the guy there. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and jump into this next season, like I said. And uh, we have to hope that this next season will be the run we we're looking for. So at the end of the season, we didn't win our division, but we did make the playoffs at 11-6, and six, which we'll take. Not making the playoffs would have been very disappointing to end off the video. But this is the last season, so we have to hope this goes good. We have to win a playoff game. We have not won a playoff game yet, which we have to visit the Colts to do so. Offense was 20th in the NFL. And then defense, let's see, was still pretty good, Hope. Yeah, second in the NFL. So defense has been good throughout the video, which is awesome. 37 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Again, Mac Jones has been right around the same numbers every year. Uh, Damon Harris, 1,400 yards, 9 touchdowns. Marquise Brown. And then defensively, Rashawn Gary as a replacement. Uh, Jeffrey Simmons had 15 and a half sacks. Rashawn Gary had eight. So uh, he's a lot younger. So maybe didn't make those two first round impact that I wanted, but defense was still really good. So I guess I can't be uh, complaining too much, but... I just want to go ahead and jump right into this game. Like I said, if we lose this, it's over. We have to we have to come out. We have to win. We have to compete. Let's see what happens. We are visiting Indianapolis. I have no idea who the Colts are starting at quarterback right now. Uh, he's wearing number one. That's all I know. No idea who I am uh, going up against, which I think I can find out in a second. Who is this? This is Taylor Heineke. Dude, if I come out here and lose to Taylor Heineke, which I love Taylor Heineke, but... I can't. I can't. We cannot come out here and lose to my man, Taylor Heineke. It, it just can't happen. Please. Please, New England. Okay. All right. I, okay. All right. I, I see how this is going. So, uh, three to ten. Mac Jones, please, bro. For the love of everything I know, just go get something done for this team. Go get a freaking win for this team in the damn playoffs. And we are up 17 to 10, which is a W. The Colts kick a field goal. It is now... 24 to 13. We might have finally won our first playoff game. And it had to be against Taylor Heineke in order to do it. But we will take it. 31 to 13. We are on to the division round. We beat Taylor Heineke and the Indianapolis Colts. Finally, finally won a playoff game. So it won't be as easy as the last matchup. Again, we get the Pittsburgh Steelers who beat us last year with Carson Strong. I'm ready to just jump right into this. No expectations. We got to win this game though, obviously. And we get a stop. Well, you hold him a field goal. But no points for us, and it is now going to be a 3-3 three to three ball game. Okay. We get a nice field position. We're up 6-3. to three. Would have loved a touchdown there, Mac Jones. But you know what? Do your thing. Now we're up 13-10. to 10. All right, man. This could be it right here. This is year number four for you, Mac Jones, I believe. So I guess this is year number three technically in Madden. But um, okay, 13-13 to 13 tie game in the fourth quarter. Getting a score here would be big. 20-13. to 13. We get the ball back. And we drain the clock. We are going to the AFC Championship after so many losses in the playoffs. We're finally getting to the AFC Championship. Let's get it. Mac Jones is leading us to where we want to be. Let's go see who we get to face in the AFC Championship. You guys already know who this is going to be. Again, it's Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. You kind of already knew this was going to be the way it was. You know, Madden loves Patrick Mahomes, which rightfully so. Mahomes is a beast, obviously. I'm not saying anything that's, you know, I'm not saying he's not. But let's go ahead and get into this game. And see if we can come out, beat Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, and go on to the Super Bowl. This will be a tough one, but I'm willing to believe we can do it. So let's see. We get a stop to start things off. And now we're up 7-0. Beautiful start, but the Chiefs do tie it up 7-7. And we are going to allow the Chiefs to go up 10-7. Okay, nothing crazy. Now they're up 13-7. So still, we could still take the lead in one possession. Which Mac Jones will do that for us. 14-13. Chiefs take the lead back going into the third quarter. We get the ball back to start the third quarter, though. So score here would go a long way. We did. 21-16. to 16. Another score would be huge here. 28-16. to 16. We are in the driver's seat. Interception by Josh Hugh. 31-16. Please don't allow the Chiefs to come back here. 38-23. to 23. I believe Mac Jones is finally putting his freaking pants on. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But he finally, finally is winning some damn games for us. We are to the, we're going to the Super Bowl. We're going to the damn Super Bowl. We beat the Chiefs. And just like that, Mac Jones gets us to the Super Bowl. Let's get it. 
It is the Super Bowl, and we get to play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, wouldn't it be something if the Bucs still had Tom Brady right now? I highly doubt that that's the case, but it would be New England versus... Why are we running through the coolers? All right, Madden, you're not making any sense. Let's jump into this game, though. Is it Tom Brady and the Bucs? We get the ball to start things off. Mac Jones, his first Super Bowl, baby. Good start. 7-0, beautiful start. It's a beautiful start. Can we go 14 to 0 now with that fumble recovery? Yes, we do. Jeffrey Simmons, you absolute freaking stud. We get an interception for Denzel Wars. 21 to 0. Who are the Bucks starting at quarterback? Who are the Bucks starting? It's 21 to 0. It has been so long, so long since we've won a Super Bowl. But I believe as long as we don't make it, allow them to have a crazy comeback, we finally did it. We, we did it. We finally won a Super Bowl. It's been so freaking long. I have no idea who's even starting at quarterback for the Bucs. I don't even care. We won it all. Been a while. We finally did it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. I'm going to let you guys watch Celebration, though. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.